Hello, my name is Taylor Ross. I'm an Eximetry Ambassador and the owner of Frustum Virtual in Los Angeles, California. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your NDI inputs and outputs in Eximetry DE Composer. First thing we need to do is launch Eximetry. So we'll go ahead and open Eximetry Composer. This first page is our Eximetry Composer startup configuration. You'll see video outputs. This is our video output devices. So we have two desktop monitors and then my Blackmagic DeckLink AK Pro. Next to video output devices, we have manage devices. You can select this, or we can go to device mapper, select video, and then select manage devices. I'm gonna do this from the first page from our video outputs page. So I'll go to video output devices, find manage devices right here at the top, and then select it. On the left-hand side, you'll see video out. Look for NDI and select it. Then we can select this add button in the upper right-hand corner. We'll give this a name. We can select okay. Then we can select apply and okay. You'll see that this has added another video output device, NDI with the Eximetry NDI name that we just gave it. On the right hand side, we'll give this an index, call this index five. You can use these three dots to change the resolution or frame rate of this NDI output. I'm just gonna leave this at 1080 and change the frame rate to 24. We can go ahead and select okay. Now we can select apply and start. Now we see a blank sequence editor. We need to add a new compound. So I'll come up here to new compound. For this, I'm gonna add a mixed camera so that you can see how to do it with a virtual or a tracked camera. If you need help setting up your mixed camera compound, we have an entire tutorial that covers all of the details of this. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to set up the NDI. So once I have that mixed cam Unreal 3 cam, I need to add my custom Unreal Engine project. Once this loads, you'll see that there are pins on the left-hand side that match the pins on the right-hand side of our mixed cam Unreal 3 cam. We need to connect all these pins. Then we can click and drag from out to rendered, B mask to B mask, click and drag from preview to the output bar on the right, and then click and drag from out to the output bar on the right. Now in the upper left-hand corner, we will go to edit, Preferences, we'll find channel matrix. In Eximetry, the channel matrix is where you can see a list of selected outputs and specify a source channel to display for each output. The source channel of my final pixel output is source two. So I will set output number five, which is my NDI output, to source channel two. You can use this dropdown next to the source channels to select what source channel you'd like to send to what output. Now you can just select apply and okay. I would also like to set up a preview for my output. So I'll go to view, Previews, Preview 5. Now I'll select the drop down on this preview and select number 5. Now in the gray area of our compound, I can right click, select Insert Module, search for Video. We're going to look for Video Out, and then we'll select OK. Now on the right hand side of my mixed camera, I will click and drag from this Out pin into this Video pin. Now I'll select the Video Out node. On the right hand side, I'll see Settings for this Video Out. I'm going to turn on Into Preview, and then for the Output Index, I'll change this to 5. If these settings are correct, you should see a preview in preview five. Our NDI output should now be set up. I'll just quickly open my NDI tools, select Studio Monitor. Our NDI tools should automatically populate with the name that we created at the beginning of this tutorial. You'll see Eximetry NDI. We can just select that. Now we should be able to preview our final pixel output in our NDI. I'll navigate back to Eximetry to show you how to set up an NDI input. Navigate to your virtual or tracked camera inputs. For input one, I'm going to change my input device. If you have NDI running on your network, it will auto-populate in this input devices. This process will be the same for your virtual or tracked camera input. Hopefully this video was helpful in getting you set up with your NDI input and output. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.